Well, the much anticipated Lord of the Rings has finally made its way to the Pine Belt, and New Seven's own James Eagle Eye Myers gives us a look at this epic production. You have my sword. And you have my bow. And my axe. This task was appointed to you, and if you do not find a way, no one will. J.R.R. Tolkien's Lord of the Rings blazes to life on the silver screen. Now, for those unfamiliar with the book, this will be a fantastic journey through Middle-earth. Loaded with fast action and powerful performances, it is the epic story of good versus evil. For Tolkien fans, the main question on their mind is, how closely will the movie follow the book? Director and avid Tolkien fan himself, Peter Jackson, addresses this concern. You don't attempt to adapt the most beloved book of all time um, in a way that you have to cut half of the good stuff out and squash it all into one film. I mean, that would be a very silly thing to do. And so the key with us is that we are making three movies. We are able to adapt the book in a way in which I think, you know, any reader of the book would like to see it adapted. The special effects wizardry brings Middle Earth to life. But how well do the actors portray the beloved characters? Hobbits, being as innocent as they are, uh, are able to withstand the power of the ring much longer than any other species. And particularly Frodo, because he's got the kind of, um, he's got a courage about him and, uh, and sometimes a fearlessness to move forward that some other hobbits may not have. Part of the excitement of the story is to see will Gandalf manage to um, provide enough support to the hobbits and the fellowship in general in order for the um, ring to be destroyed, which is the, the, the ultimate aim of the story. Now, whether you're a Tolkien fan or not, this movie has something for you, too. Now, the question is, will this movie have the notoriety that the book had? Many fans say definitely yes, but only time will tell. New Line Cinema's The Lord of the Rings, The Fellowship of the Ring is an instant classic. With your real reviews, I'm James Myers for News 7. See you at the movies. Thanks, James. My men are surrounded by thousands of Somali militia. I need help now. Based on the actual events of October 3rd, 1993, Black Hawk Down is the story of a mission gone terribly wrong and the rescue attempts that followed. Deep down, this is about the camaraderie and brotherhood of combat soldiers. They were very elaborate about do not fire unless fired upon. Um, but, you know, that once the bullet, first bullet flies past your ears, as Hoot says in the film, then all the politics go out the windows because it's all about the man next to you. The combat scenes are not for the squeamish. They are very intense and realistic. So realistic that you share the soldiers' frustrations and determination to rescue fallen comrades. It's a jigsaw puzzle. As the pieces start to go together, um, it gets fascinating, so it becomes the anatomy of a war. And I suddenly realize what I have is an, the anatomy of a war. On the flip side, Black Hawk Down takes a while to get moving. And for those who are unfamiliar with military lingo, parts of the movie might get a little confusing. Also, character development is weak, and you never really get to know the soldiers. Guys, this is definitely not a date flick. Black Hawk Down is a war movie that accurately portrays the chaos of combat. Overall, it was a little disappointing, and this film rates a C. With your real reviews, I'm James Myers for News 7. See you at the movies. Well, the story of revenge is not a new one. Now, Touchstone Pictures has released one of the classic tales of revenge with a count of Monte Cristo. News 7's James Myers gives us his review. Stop it, Fanon. I don't have time for this. I saw Napoleon give you that letter. It was you? Well, it wasn't just me. It was Don Glass' idea. This movie can be summed up in three words. Love, hate, and revenge. But it also has a deeply rooted faith and redemption theme. Rated PG-13, The Count of Monte Cristo is a powerful and deeply moving story of the naive Edmond, who is betrayed by his best friend. While in prison, he is befriended by an old priest who educates him and teaches him to fight. The priest later gives him a map to the treasure hidden on the Isle of Monte Cristo. Armed with his fortune and training, Edmond dubs himself the Count and sets out on his quest for vengeance. The Count of Monte Cristo is a beautiful picture to watch, 
The cinematography is breathtaking and stunning. The characters are believable and the performance is passionate. I highly recommend this film and would definitely consider it a date movie. With an A for story and an A for appearance, this film earns an A. With your real reviews, I'm James Myers for News 7. See you at the movies. And sports is up next on Live at 5. Stay with us. Dad, it's right here and you can tell the truth. Isn't it true that deep down inside, very deep inside, you know you need much more than your daddy can give you? All you need is love. The Beatles once sang, all you need is love, and that's definitely the theme of I Am Sam. So if you're looking for a good heart-wrenching story, then you'll want to see this. I Am Sam is about a mentally challenged father who's fighting to retain custody of his daughter. But he needs legal counsel, so enters Rita, played by Michelle Pfeiffer, who is a high-dollar lawyer that gets unexpectedly caught up in Sam's dilemma. And you said I couldn't afford you, so I have to talk to somebody. I don't know. Did she? Yes, that's why I told you I would be your lawyer pro bono. I, I don't understand exactly what you, t what you mean. This movie is a roller coaster ride of emotions, and there is a lot of symbolism and Beatles references, so stay alert. The stars in this film are too numerous to name, but definitely well cast. Sean Penn and Michelle Pfeiffer's performances were stirring and powerful. I would expect to see a few nominations come out of this movie. One thing to remember, bring the tissues. You're going to need them. I recommend this film and gladly rate it a B+. With your real reviews, I'm James Myers for News 7. See you at the movies.